as one of the many water keepers, you know, my job is to be an on the ground advocate for clean water in my basin. So that's the Cape Fear River Basin. But we work throughout the basin on the Cape Fear River, the Northeast Cape Fear River, and the Black River. So the Black River is a tributary of the main stem of the Cape Fear. And it's kind of a classic black water ecosystem. The water is dark, stained, dark like tea because of all the stuff that falls off of all these cypress trees and these gum trees in the swamp. The water kind of steeps in all that detritus and then it kind of stains the water this black color. The most spectacular part of the Black River are the cypress trees. As it turns out, the oldest cypress trees on the planet are on the Black River. And some of these trees are, you know, over 2,000 years old. To walk around in a swamp and see 2,000 year old trees is, is a pretty humbling experience. I've never put a boat in here before, so we're just gonna have to find, once I get in there, I suspect I'll probably recognize where I am. We'll just have to see how it goes. This area is remote, it's, it's difficult to get to, you have to paddle to it. And that's part of the reason, you know, these trees still exist. You then have to eventually get out of your canoe or kayak and kind of drag the boat across the shallow white sand. It's kind of a maze in here. It's easy to get turned around. It's easy to get in a different area than, than you thought you were going to. You can eventually just follow the water and, and you will eventually come back out at the bottom, but it's very easy to get turned around. The water level as it changes, changes the way everything looks and feels. So it's easy to forget from one time to the next. So, not an easy place to get to. Okay, Can fall out? No. Are we lost? Oh, we're definitely, I mean, we're lost-ish. Um, you know, we always have the river that way that we can get to. Probably a banded water snake, but I wouldn't get any closer than necessary. We are parking here? Yeah, we're going to park here. Right, cool. So we're in the Three Sister Swamp on the Black River. And this is the site of the oldest cypress trees on planet Earth. The trees right next to us have been cored and confirmed to be over 2,600 years old. So right there, uh, in kind of the middle of the Three Sister Swamp, that's the oldest cypress tree on planet Earth. Over 2,600 years old. And there's been a lot of coring of trees in the swamp. But this tree, for instance, is almost completely hollow. Uh, many of the many of the biggest trees in the swamp are hollow, and so you can't you can't get a coring tool all the way to the center of the tree to accurately uh, assess the age. Can you hear how it's hollow? and you have these white sandy bottoms and you can kind of just walk around and see these trees and reach out and touch something that was here well before Christ was on the planet. So it's pretty special. So the reason these trees look the way they do 
And, and one of the reasons they last so long and grow so old is because they tolerate hurricanes by just having the tops get ripped out and the trunk stays in place. All of these knees that you see are all twisted together under the surface of the sand. And so, you know, the knees that might be right next to that tree might be from another tree several yards away. And if you were to take all the sand and remove it all, all of these knees and all of these trees would be all tied together. And the knees would come up and go back down and twist around. And so each of these trees is anchored to every other tree in the swamp. And they also have these big buttresses. So, you know, they've had 2,600 years of hurricanes and they all look like these do. You know, all the big ones look like these do. They've all had lost their tops and then they've grown back their tops and they've lost them again and they've grown back and they've lost them again. And so they have these big trunks and, and small canopies. We know that tree is 2,600 years old, but there are probably dozens of other trees in here that are even older, according to, to the scientists' kind of lifelong experience looking at these trees. And so to just say, hey, there's only one tree in here that's 2,600 years old would be not accurate. It's just, it's just the one tree that we've been able to core all the way to the middle to. There could be, as he said, dozens of trees that are 3,000 years old or older in here. Yeah. So here's one. So that tree's, you know, sprouted this year. So in another 2,600 years, it'll look like that one. As you walk around, I mean, there are literally hundreds of them. The land itself is protected. The Nature Conservancy has spent many years piecing together conservation easements on all of this property or, or buying the property outright to protect it. So the land is protected. The river, as it flows through this section of the swamp, of course, is much more vulnerable and water quality is certainly a concern on the Black River. So I, I do worry about kind of how, how water quality in the swamp will change, how that will impact these trees, how it will impact people's ability to enjoy coming in here. We've done testing upstream. We frequently find high bacteria levels in, in this water following rain events, which we attribute to runoff from industrial agriculture. There, there's, you know, this is the, the part of the world that has the highest concentration of hog farms and a, and a rapidly expanding poultry industry. Because the land around the river is so low, and those factory farms are in those low floodplain areas, you tend to get a lot of runoff from spray fields and from fields that are used to spread poultry litter. It appears to be getting worse. The biggest growing source of pollution on the Black River are poultry farms, which are almost unregulated. And there's a new poultry farm being built every week in North Carolina. You know, we need to put some kind of limit on how many of these poultry farms we allow to be built in the floodplains of, of rivers like the Black River. So that's a black vulture, frequently found with turkey vultures. And they are not well loved, but they do play a really important role in the ecosystem. You know, they, they remove a ton of carrion from the landscape. And they're almost invincible as far as what they can eat and not get sick. Swamps have gotten this kind of in popular culture. They're, they're seen as bad places like we're going to drain the swamp. I really take offense to that. <laughs> Swamps are beautiful places and they're full of life. They're one of the most biologically diverse sections of North Carolina. They have incredibly special plants and animals like ancient cypress trees. A number of endangered species live in these swamps. This is a very special ecosystem and we should try to protect it.